Yo, what is up? In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you know about the new archaeology update in Fish. All right, so I'm gonna start out by going ahead and looking at the update logs. As you can see in the Discord server, which you should join, it has a lot of updates and stuff, okay? The archaeological hunt, okay? Dr. Phineas and his team have uncovered ancient remains of prehistoric fish scattered throughout the depths of fish. Could these mysterious fossils be the key to uncovering something long lost to time? Join the search and find Dr. Phineas. He's out there still navigating the vast oceans of fish in pursuit of the ancient islands. All right, so that is the description of the update. Now let's actually get to what they added, okay? There is one new limited bestiary till November 30th, which is when the new Megalodon update is coming out. I will show you how this bestiary looks in a second. And there is also a new rod called the Relic Rod, which will be a big thing for the new Megalodon update coming at November 30th, all right? There's four new bobbers, one bestiary bobber, which you get for completing the limited bestiary, and there's also just three limited bobbers. 10 limited time fish, which are actually bones, which you have to find for the bestiary right here. And then the coin shop, prices are expensive for the time being, so no one can pay to win to endgame, which is cool. They optimized several of the areas, added inventory sorting, which is really cool, fixed mul multiple crash issues for lower end devices, and several other bugs and fixes, all right? And there's a new code, prehistoric, which gives you a free truffle worms and stuff. But that is everything in the new update. Now let's actually go over how it looks. So a quick little tip, I was talking about this briefly, but these private servers right here, if you can get in one of them before they go full, I would join them when you can because these tend to have a lot of luck boosts and you can get really crazy fishes and get all those bones really quickly. All right, and if you see from Moosewood right here, there's just this little thing that's, you can see it from anywhere, Dr. Phineas, okay? And if you go over to his little boat right here, you can actually interact with him, and I'll show you what he says right now. Hello, Explorer. What brings you here? What are you doing? We're finishing up some research on an island we believe that exists. Hmm. Okay. We think we have enough proof, but we could use an extra hand here. Maybe we could reward you. Interested? I'm always interested for rewards. The mysterious island hides a reward. Find ten prehistoric fish bones to claim it. Can I see the bestiary? And right here is the bestiary that I was talking about earlier. I have every bone except one bone. And you get these bones from different places in the maps. And in the comments below, I will paste everywhere where you get each bone. So you know where to go to get all the bones. So you can finish this bestiary very quickly. I'm actually going to go show you how it looks when you get these bones and how it looks. So I'm going to try to get this one right here. The Oceans of Roslet. So let's go over there. So that wasn't the bone I needed, but it doesn't really matter. That is how it looks when you get bones. You see, you can just get them anywhere on the map, and this is the spine bone. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Also, as I'm going to a secret island, I want to tell you that if you do go ahead and have wormhole on your rod you're using, it could make this way easier because you can get bones from different places that you're not actually at, all right? So it's really cool. And please make sure you like and subscribe to this video. It, this channel has been growing so crazy. It's like crazy what it's done. I want to get to 2.5 thousand subscribers by the end of the year though. So if you can make that happen, that would really be crazy. But honestly, thank you so much. It helped me so much, bro. But yeah, back to what I was saying. I'm going to an island that is not marked anywhere. It is just kind of here. But basically from Snowcap Island and Terrapin Island, you kind of got to go between them and just keep going far out. Sorry, I meant Snowcap Island and Mushgrove Swamp instead of Snowcap and Terrapin. But yeah, if you keep going this way, you will find the new island, which is called the Archaeological Site. But yes, you can see it right here. The Archaeological Site. Alright, this place is really cool. There's no new fishes here or a bestiary. It's really a secret unmarked. Well, it's not a secret, but it's unmarked, okay? And basically, when you finish the bestiary, the new bone bestiary, you will get a map or code sort of thing. And if you go over here, it will tell you, I don't have the map myself, but it will tell you the order to press these buttons and this door will open and inside is a new relic rod. There's actually a way to get in here without doing this. You won't be able to buy the relic rod, but you can see how it looks and I'll do that right now. 
from my past glitch video, you know that if you type slash e pumpkin while holding a rod, you'll be able to do this pumpkin emote in while moving. So if you do this pumpkin glitch right here, you can actually get straight through this place, which is really cool. I'm gonna go through right now. All right, and just like that, you can see I glitched through. And if you go down, you can see right here is the new Relic Rod, which looks really cool. It is only $8,000. These are the stats right here. It's really cool. A really old rod found from the tombs of ancient isles, crafted out of ancient bone, but does it hold a mysterious power within? We are not 100% sure, but we are pretty sure, I guess, that it does, because in this new Megalodon update, apparently this will be a big thing. But yeah, as you can see, you cannot buy it from here. It says the cha-ching sound, but nothing comes out, and it's not in your inventory. You do actually have to get the full BC area and open the door to buy it. But yeah, that is the entire new archaeological site update. Yeah, that is the entire new update. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you out, and now you're a master at this new update, and you know how to do everything. But yeah, this new update is really cool. And this Megalodon update is really cool, also, when it's going to come. But yeah, make sure you do this update, because you will need some of the things from this update, like the Relic Rod, for the new update. So if this video helps, make sure you like and subscribe. Like I said, it really helps me out. And to get to 2.5 thousand subs by the end of the year is my goal, okay? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.